and you get her. And the cold and gray Chicago moon, and that little baby child is born, and you get her. And you get her. Hey everyone, it's Jen here. So um, I know it's long overdue, but I thought I'd make a video since I am going to go ahead and cook for myself. Um, so what I'm going to make today is adobo. Again, it's not traditional. I kind of just adapted from the way that my mom cooked when I was little. And um, being with that said, I will show you the ingredients you need and then we'll get started. I'm using fresh pork for stew, uh, which you can buy in grocery stores. And since I'm using this um, to just accommodate myself, I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces. That way um, it's more, uh, it cooks evenly and cooks a little bit faster. My favorite thing to use to uh, chop these up or usually chop up anything is my Sotoku, Sotaku knife, I believe that's what it's called. Um, it's This one's actually by Chef Maiden and I've had it for a while now, um, but I love it. It's really handy, firm grip, and uh, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's really good at cutting. So before we start cutting, make sure you do have a bowl on hand into that and um, I don't know if you're the type that likes to clean while you cook but I often do that so I usually have a plastic bag handy for any trashes so I like to clean while I cook that way everything's all set and you can just eat so depends on the sizing um, this one's kind of bigger so I guess I can cut that in a chunk Some of these are probably okay in size. What I also like to do is uh, cut off any fat. Um, these are store-bought, but still, even though they slice it for you, there's still always that little bit of uh, fattening on there, and I don't like that too much. So I try to get off whatever I can. So now that we have the meat all cut, um, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the pan. What you want to do is, um, before you do that of course, which I forgot to mention, um, you want to set the uh, stove at medium high, uh, make it nice and warm so it gets that sizzle sound once you put that on. Um, so I'm going to put this on and give my cutting board a wash and then we'll get the cooking. So the oven's all um, fired up, nice and warm. Um, you can see the oils is melting in a bit. You really don't need the oil, but I like to put it just in case to have it cook a little bit faster. You can hear that nice sizzling sound. 